Welcome to Stock Review. Um, the chart you're looking at, uh, CBOE Futures Volatility GVIX at the close on Friday. I thought it was important to recap where we were before we talk about where we're at now. Um, it's unreasonably high in the story. We can look at the MACD, see where it's at currently, and, you know, what is it, 12 and 6? Or 26 and 12, I mean, yeah. But sentiment is not long, not yet. Uh, chart below. VIX is in the same condition. Market sentiment, pretty much, um, is above last year. Definitely, I they want it higher, I guess. Um, Vixen is um, at previous market trends, medium long convergence. This is the eighth, guys. So, period. Guys and gals. Since my female viewership is none. I was on here with a GQ top. I guess it's not working. Anyways, as of 0854, the dollar is oversold. As you can see below, MACD. Current market levels, what it was uh, not too long ago. Um, 24.12, right? You kind of take a look at it. It's, uh... Hmm. I don't want to comment with those. Pretty much. Um, for the simple fact that um, people are jumping in and out on the bond market and the um, dollar. This makes sense at the end of the day. That's all retail. That's all stupid money right there. Doing that. Five day chart, it might be in the cage convergence um, in the positive. Short term, definitely, just totally short term is doing this kind of stuff. Um, this is at 10 06. Uh, the international bond market is at the same levels in the 12 to 9, right? 12 to 9. Same levels. Twelve weeks ago, my answer. Same levels. Do you expect that shit to change anytime soon? I don't think so. Uh, the U.S. dollar index is in the twelve and nine in the range. There's no real change. Uh, it's ten. Um, 37 AM um, 7 11. 
Diamonds. You can observe a sustained trend. Exchange is oversold due to the previous week's sell off. Obviously, it's been going down for the past four weeks. Um, news, economic news, has affected the exchange, um, mostly spooking and um, propagandizing retail traders that watch YouTube a lot. Continue. That's Detroit low, and now we are looking at the chart. Turn on top is the Dow Jones. The New York Stock Exchange is converged, according to the KDJ, and is poised to go higher and could catch up to the other indexes this week, all due to the short-term buying by retail traders. Attempting to grow accounts amidst bad economic news in a deflationary period. Time stamp 1231. The International Bond Market NDX is in a consistent uptrend, tapering around 1242 today, which is being reflected in the value of the dollar by 3 to 5 percent, causing an appearance of a rally in the market abstract what's the bottom line buying at this point is a no go market levels haven't changed to a point to break up current trends New York Stock Exchange is below 2% as far as gains are concerned and the S&P Below 2% gains. Also, the NASDAQ is below 2 When I wrote this, even if the NASDAQ rises above 2%, it's 2.5%. Closing, last time I checked, at the lows four weeks ago, especially if you went into inverse ETFs and commodities, the best is where to come. Appreciate you guys tuning in. And I hope you appreciate the information. Like, share, subscribe. These are the stocks. These are the applications. These are the trade ideas. Thank you for tuning in.